Finit. Finit, wo du einen Gang zum Einsch. Gib weiter, was dann? Die Pristinecke. Bayorg learned his ice survival skills from his forefathers. Alone on the ice, far from home, how long will it be before bad weather begins to bite? The hunting party needs more seals. But paddling further into unknown waters, they begin to encounter clues from another world. Driftwood has been floating out of the west, from a land they cannot imagine. For the hunters steering away from the European coast, this is the first hint that something lies beyond. On the other side of the Atlantic, floods have washed trees into the ocean. They are swept up by the warm waters of the Gulf Stream current. More powerful than the combined forces of all the world's rivers, the Gulf Stream is the engine of the Atlantic. After two weeks paddling west away from Europe, they are now almost 400 miles from home. The hunt has taken them further out than Bayorg has ever been before. And in the Ice Age, they were able to witness a natural marvel. The hunting is going well, but as the only one with experience of the ice, Bayorg is concerned they may have ventured too far. With bad weather on the way, Bayorg is eager to kill more seals before heading home.
The only person with experience on the ice is gone. Without him, the young hunters face a difficult decision. Get to the dangle game. It's impossible to continue in the storm. They must return to the ice sheet and make shelter. Using his computer model, Dr. Richard Peltier made another surprising discovery. Because of such an extreme temperature difference between the warm Gulf Stream and the frozen poles, storms in the Ice Age were superstorms. Wind speeds would have been, we expect, very much stronger during this glacial time than they are, than they are at present. Temperatures would have been very, very much lower. They have, would have been living in a very hostile environment. Far out in the Atlantic, the young hunters have been caught in a severe...